In South Georgia, the city of Douglas is working to bring its aviation heritage into the future now with a new flight school. A committee proposing the Douglas Municipal Gene Chambers Airport just as it was during World War II. Our Amber Spradley has that story. With the new year comes new hope for the future of Douglas and a plan forward rooted in its past seven decades ago. In World War II, a group of young men were called upon to defend this nation. Those young adults responded to a need. Mayor Tony Pock says before answering the call to serve, more than 10,000 cadets trained for the mission right here at the Douglas Airport, once home to the 63rd Army Air Force's pilot school, the most intact in the nation's history, Mayor Pock says. But according to aviation experts, the industry is facing a critical shortage of pilots and mechanics, with tens of thousands lost every year to retirement. All of the World War II pilots have already retired, and most of the Korean War veterans and pilots have retired now. Aviation continues to grow as an industry, but the number of pilots are dwindling. But now a collaboration to help meet the need. City and state officials, development agencies, and education systems working to establish a new aviation school right on the same historic airport grounds. The main asset here is the leadership and the fact that it's a very progressive community. We all row together to move this community forward. This gives South Georgia State College an opportunity to engage with the Douglas community and to build a program that is sustainable and has roots of being impactful in the community. The new committee committed to honoring the city's past and impacting its future. In Douglas, Amber Spradley, WCTV Eyewitness News. City officials tell us they're consulting with flight schools and researching grants. U.S. and state representatives also offering their assistance with possible federal funding for that project.